Hi everyone and welcome to the unit on databases. We could use a number of different databases in this course. We could use uh, the Microsoft version, which is Microsoft Access. We could use uh, OpenOffice, uh, which has their own version. But for our co course, we're going to use FileMaker Pro 5.5. So to open it up, we'll go to the Start button and click on FileMaker 5.5. That gives us a number of options. We can create a new file using a template. So FileMaker Pro has a number of different templates we could use. Or we could open an existing file or create a new empty file. So we're going to start with a simple database. We're going to click on this radio button and click OK. Then we'll enter in the name of our database. What we're going to do is enter in some of our favorite movies. So we're going to call this movie database and we're going to click save. So you can save your somewhere on your network drive. And what FileMaker Pro does is it opens up a window to define our fields. The field names are really the column names. So for our example, since we're entering movie information, first field that we're going to have is the title of the movie. And down below, what we have to do is tell the database what type of information is going into this field. So will it be text? Will it be a number? Is it a date? So since it's the title of the movie, it will be text. So we're going to keep it as that and click Create. So we've just defined our first field, the name of the first column. In the next column, we're going to put in the genre of the movie, whether it's science fiction, animation, or drama. That is text, so we're going to save it as that. So click on Create. Next thing we're going to do is enter in the year the movie was released. And we could click on any one of these. We could click on date, but we don't want the exact date of the year. All we want is the year. So we're going to save it as a number. So I'm going to click on Create. Next thing we're going to do is enter the amount of money that the movie has made up until this point, which is the gross revenue. And that will be a number as well, so we'll click on Create. And the next field we're going to do is the production budget, so the amount of money it actually took to make the movie. That will be a number, so we'll click on Create. And the last thing we're going to do is we're going to put the movie rating out of 10, so some number out of 10. So that will be a number as well. So we're going to leave it like that, click on Create. And there, we've defined six fields for our database. We could enter more, but we're going to stop there. So we're going to click on Done. And as you can see, this window opens up, which basically gives us the area to enter in information for the first movie that we're going to put in our database, which is really in terms of the database represents the first record. As you can see here, this tells me that we're on record number one. So for the first one, if we enter in the Hunger Games as our first movie and the genre science fiction, the year it was released, 2012. Gross revenue, it made roughly 408 million. The production budget, the amount of money it took to make the movie, was 75 million. And it's rating out of 10, we're going to give it a 9. So we've entered in all the information about the Hunger Games. We're done with that record. We want to move to the next record uh, to enter in another movie. To do that, we can use one of these buttons here. And if we put our mouse over this here and look at the bottom, it says add a new empty record. So I'm going to click on that one. And we get this 
window here. If you look on the left hand side, you can see we're now on the second record. So if I click on this one here, and let's say we put in a movie that was recently released, Gravity, which is a drama. It was released in 2013. Gross revenue, let's say it's made so far 55 million. And let's say it took $120 million to make. And for a rating, I'm going to give this a 9. So we've entered in our second record. And we could click on this button here and carry on to a third record. But we're going to stop there. And I'm going to go to File and Close. And I'm going to go File, Open. So I'm going to go open up the database that we just created. When I click on that, I have to go find the file. And if you notice here, here's Movie Database. Notice the file extension for FileMaker Pro. It is .fp5. So I'm going to click on that. And it opens up to the information that we just entered. Notice on the left-hand side here that it has the record number, so we're at record number one out of a total number of records of two. To change from one record to the next, we just click on these pages here of this mini binder. So if I click on that, you can see that it takes a look at the next movie, which was Gravity. So, so far in this video, you learned how to enter in field names and enter information for records in a database. That's it till next time. Take care. We'll talk to you soon.